So Clayton Kershaw, we you you called our attention to it, Christopher, as we were going yeah, yeah, out yeah. the door yesterday, right around you know two thirty Eastern time, one thirty local time in um, Minnesota on a cold day. Clayton Kershaw making his first start of the season. And they put him deep in the rotation to start the season to just give him a little extra time at his advanced age. And he had two months of arm inflammation last year that caused him to miss that much time. And he signs a one-year $17 million deal to come back to Los Angeles. This guy's going in the Hall of Fame. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. We all know it. No doubt. And the one thing missing from this guy's resume is a perfect game. And, you know, that's not news because it's missing from pretty much every other human being that's ever pitched in Major League Baseball's resume. There's, yeah, there's only been 23 yeah, exactly, of them. Exactly. 23 of them. So when you've got a chance to throw one and you have one every single time you go out there, but you have a chance to throw one and complete one, man, you've got to take that chance. You got to. Certainly when the numbers in-game support it. Now, that's what we're all talking about. Pitch count and analytics and going through the lineup and how many different, you know, teams focus on it. It's all 30 now, folks. It's all 30 now. And Dave Roberts, the manager of the Dodgers, has always been on the hot seat for this sort of thing with fans about always turning to those dreaded numbers that the front office is, we all believe, imposing upon this good man (laughs) who came up with one of the more grit, gutsy, and heart-filled plays in the history of Major League Baseball postseason play. He is written in Red Sox lore for taking that base against the Yankees years ago in the 2004 American League Championship Series. And this guy has now taken not one but two pitchers out of perfect games with seven-plus innings. Rich Hill had a blister. This guy and Clayton Kershaw just had, what, time off last year. He's advancing age. His arm needs more rest. And it's 38 degrees out. The guy had a perfect game working through seven with 80 pitches, five Fewer than apparently what after the game was the number by which, uh, at which the manager and pitcher had agreed upon before he went out for his seventh inning. One more inning or 85 pitches, that's what we're going to do. They agreed. And then he finished the seventh inning still perfect with just 80 pitches. Maybe throw that plan out. And out (laughs) goes Kershaw. Here's what both men had to say about it. First up is the pitcher in Clayton Kershaw after the game had this to say. Yeah, it's hard. You know, I feel bad for uh, for Barnsey. You know, Barnsey did such a great job, and it's fun to get to catch one of those. And so I, I wanted to do it with Barnsey. You know, um, it'd be special. And but at the end of the day, those are those are individual things. Those are those are selfish goals, and we're trying to win. You know, and um, that's that's really all we're here for. And. As much as I would have wanted to do it, I've, I've thrown 75 pitches in a sim game, you know, and I hadn't gone six innings, let alone seven. And um, sure, I would have loved to have do it, but um, you know, maybe we will get another chance. Who knows? Wait, in the moment, can you reconcile all of that? Yeah. There was no part of you that wanted to fight to stay in or anything. I just said, I, yeah. I mean, I would have loved to have stayed, but bigger things, man. Bigger things. Bigger things, as in a full long season and staying healthy for it, and that's exactly what um, Dave Roberts was pointing out afterwards. Um, Barnsey, by the way, is Austin Barnes, the catcher, who for whom a perfect game is just as important. There's, mm-hmm. you know, you're written in lore as well, and we'll get to Austin Barnes in a second. But here's what Dave Roberts had to say. 
you know, I think there's a point where you just got to decide. I got to decide um, to what end. And um, I'm as big a fan as anyone uh, and a fan of Clayton. And to see a, a battery of him in Austin throw a perfect game or a no-hitter, I'm all in. Um, but, again, to what end or to what cost. And so um, every decision I make is for the best interest of the player, uh, their health, and the ball club. Um, because there's a lot of people that, you know, are cheering for the Dodgers, not only just for today and Clayton to throw a no-hitter, but for the Dodgers to win the World Series. Not a Dodger fan that I know of that I've spoken to in the last 24 hours that wanted Clayton Kershaw taken out of that game. Period. End of story. Full stop. Dave Roberts knows that, too. Dave Roberts knows that, too. Here's the issue. Written. March. Is baseball has become a game, not of inches, but of metrics. Inch is a metric but of metrics, that's the issue. The heart, the soul has been sucked out by metrics. And to the point where we fans can't tell the difference between a decision made for metrics or a decision made for health reasons or a decision made on gut and feel without all of that. We can't tell the difference anymore because we're just assuming it's all about metrics because we're seeing broadcasts. That was an exit velocity of such and such a thing on a, gr on a ground ball that was a quick one hop to the shortstop. We're still talking about exit velocity. We're talking about shifts and where they are. And we're talking about guys who are openers, not starters. And we're talking about guys who come out of the pen and throw 100 miles an hour, and we're going to take guys out at four and two-third innings who started a game because they're tiring, because they've got 80 pitches, they've got 70 pitches. Pitch count this, pitch count that. I yearn for the days when we had pitchers who said, screw the pitch count, screw it. Those days are gone, though. They're over. They are long gone. This is what really hurt me yesterday out of all of it, okay? Austin Barnes, this was his quote. When asked what Kershaw said to him after Kershaw hugged him in the dugout to tell him that the perfect game was over, Barnes said that Kershaw said, sorry, quote, I knew it was the right call and stuff like that, but I thought we could get it done. That's baseball. That's baseball. Hmm. Because the baseball that I grew up loving the baseball I grew up and fell in love with and still are and it's trying to instill in my children are the baseball of a league of their own. The line that Tom Hanks said in a league of their own to the Gina Davis character, Dottie, who was leaving on the eve of the World Series to go back home with her husband, to saying that the game just got too hard, he said to her, this is a famous quote from the movie, it's supposed to be hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. The hard is what makes it great. And yesterday, the hard was right in front of the Dodgers, right in front of their manager, and right in front of their pitcher. And they would tell you the hard thing was to take him out. The hard thing is to go for it. That's the hard thing. And they took the less hard way out because it's a long season. That's what makes baseball great. It is a long season. And what baseball needs is Clayton Kershaw to pitch a perfect freaking game. That's what baseball needs. Because we're still stuck too much on all the other crap that makes it feel like what we're watching is somebody's chess game with a slide rule. Not what makes it great. Maybe unfair to say it, but that's the way I'm feeling about baseball, and that's what upset me about yesterday. The latest instance. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.